The former CIA director says when he first learned Russia was interfering in the 2016 U.S. election, he told Russia's top intelligence chief to stop. Finally, I warned Mr. Bortnikov that if Russia pursued this course, it would destroy any near-term prospect for improvement in relations between Washington and Moscow. The House Intelligence Committee is one of several congressional probes looking into Russian election interference. The former CIA chief says he shares concerns the president may have broken protocol, allegedly sharing intelligence with Russian officials during a recent Oval Office meeting. The president has repeatedly disputed those accounts of the Oval Office meeting, instead pointing to the sources of the revelations, what he calls illegal leaks. They are leaks that have prompted yet another unsourced media report that the president approached the head of the National Security Agency as well as the director of national intelligence, urging them to deny the existence of any collusion during the 2016 U.S. election. Asked about the report at a separate congressional hearing, the director of national intelligence said he didn't want to discuss the matter in an open hearing, but also didn't deny the claim. Given the nature of uh, my position and the information in which we share, um, it's not appropriate for me to uh, comment publicly uh, on any of that. Meantime, the Senate Intelligence Committee is issuing two new subpoenas to compel fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn to turn over documents about his contacts with Russian officials. This comes one day after Flynn attempted to refuse the request, invoking the Fifth Amendment or right to remain silent. If, in fact, uh, there's not a response, we'll seek additional counsel advice on how to proceed forward. Uh, at the end of that option is a contempt charge. Senate Intelligence is one of the many congressional committees investigating concerns of collusion, something the former CIA chief couldn't rule out. I saw interaction and aware of interaction that again raised questions in my mind about what was the true nature of it, but I don't know. Such ambiguity will no doubt push U.S. lawmakers to probe even further as they attempt to uncover the clear answers they say Americans are demanding. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.